In this video, I want to show you how to use a formula in conditional formatting. Let's say in column A, we have a number and we're trying to compare it to column B. If the number in column A is less than the number in column B, we want to make the, uh, the color yellow. If the number in column A is equal to the number in column B, we want to make it uh, red. And if the number in column A is more than the number in column B, we want to make it green. So uh, this is how we would approach that problem. You're going to use a formula in your conditional formatting. Now, um, if the fact that I'm going to start the data highlight, I'm going to highlight all my data here. And then we'll do conditional formatting. I'll pick on home, conditional formatting. And you're actually going to, uh, one way to do it is to do a new rule. And within new rule, we're going to put a new formula. And notice how I did highlight my data starting in cell A1. That's going to be important in my formula. In fact, I'm going to need three different formulas. So I'm going to say uh, equals dollar sign A1 less than dollar sign B1. Now, the reason I'm using the dollar sign before the A is because I always want to look at column A and I always look at column B. That's where the dollar sign is there. But I want the row number to change. That's why I don't have a dollar sign before the one. So I'll pick on format there. And let's just say, because I highlight both uh, the row and the column, let's say the whole row is going to turn that color, or at least those two cells. So let's say in this case, uh, I'll have the white text, and we'll go with um, a yellow background. Or well, let's say if it's going to be red, if it's um, if it's less than, and I'll click on OK, and notice that we do have some that are red because the value in column A is less than the value in column B for that row, and that ha happened all the way up and down. Now we'll need another rule to see if they're equal. So you highlight the same data, and you do almost the exact same thing. In this case, I'll say home conditional formatting. We'll do a new rule and this time we'll say use a formula equals dollar sign A1 equals dollar sign B1. So again, the reason the dollar sign is before the A and before the B is because I always want to look at column A and column B, but I want the row number to change. That's why I don't have a dollar sign before the 1. Uh, that would be a, a relative reference, but the dollar signs make the A and B a, uh, an absolute reference. So I'll pick on format. Let's say in this case, we'll make those yellow if they're equal. And let's see when I click on OK, if I have any that are yellow. There's some that are yellow, and you can see that they're, um, the values are equal. And there we have that. There's some yellow ones because they're equal. Now, we're going to highlight that same data, and we'll do one more rule. We'll do home, conditional formatting, uh, a new rule. And in this case, I'm going to say use a formula equals dollar sign A greater than uh, dollar sign A1 greater than dollar sign B1. And uh, the importance of the 1 there is because I did start my data to highlight on row one. If I had started on a different row, then you would put the first row in which you started your highlight as the number. That's important. I'll pick on format, and in this case, we'll make it green. And let's see how that worked out for us. Now, if I look at my data, the green rows, uh, we know that column A is more than the number for column B. The red rows, we mean column A is less than the number in column B. And the yellow ones mean that column A is equal to the number in column B. And that's how we can use a, um, a formula within your conditional formatting. Uh, of course, there's other ways to do the exact same thing, but that's one way. 